Welcome to MultiTeach. In this video, I'll provide an overview of the science apps found in Snowflake MultiTeach. I'll also demonstrate how science apps can be used with other features, apps, and lessons. The apps in this category include bones, organs, animals, habitats, Einstein, and geography. These apps support two or more students working simultaneously on a large display in a front of class or tabletop mode. We'll start with the Bones app. Bones is good for use during an instructional unit about the human body. After you launch MultiTeach, you can swipe to the right to access the science category apps. Select the Bones icon in the science menu to open it. Directions for use appear at the beginning of each of four rounds. Students drag labels to set them in the correct locations on a skeleton. After all labels are placed, incorrectly placed labels will give off a red flashing glow, allowing for self-correction. Feedback is provided after all the labels are correctly placed. At the end of four rounds, an image of a labeled skeleton appears for student reference. The student has the option to play again. Items are randomized for each session of bones. Organs is another app that is good for use during instruction about the human body, and like the Bones app, supports one, two, or more students working simultaneously on a large display in front of class or tabletop mode. Select the Organs icon in the Science menu to open it. Directions are given at the start of each of the three rounds. As in the Bones app, after labels are placed, incorrectly placed labels give off a flashing red glow. If the labels are correctly placed, feedback is provided. At the end of the rounds, an image with labeled organs appears Appears for reference. The students have the option to play again. The Animals app is good for younger children. Navigate to the Science category and select the Animals icon. It will lead to a selection screen where you can choose one of three levels. Brief instructions are provided at the beginning of each round, directing the student to drag a label to an animal. Positive feedback is given at the end of each round. Items placed incorrectly by the end of a round are indicated by a flashing red glow allowing for self-correction. When all rounds have finished, the app can be replayed. The Habitats app is good for use with young children. From the Science menu, select the Habitats icon, which will lead to a screen with four categories of habitats and brief instructions. Picture cards of various animals appear on the screen, and students drag them to the correct locations. After the items are placed, incorrect ones will give off a flashing red glow so students can self-correct. After each round, positive feedback is provided. The Einstein app is a suite of mini apps that cover six different categories and can be played by up to four students. It is good for paired or small group work and can be used as a fun way for students to review information in preparation for a quiz or an exam. Tap the Einstein icon in the science category menu and it will lead you to a selection screen where you can choose from a range of categories. Here, I'll select jungle and then press Start. In Einstein, answer tiles are scattered randomly about the screen for each round. The goal is to select the correct tiles and drag them to the question boxes at the edge of the screen before the time runs out. Here are screenshots of some of the other categories. Animals, Math, Shapes, Geography, and Landmarks. You can create your own Einstein lessons using the Lessons app in Snowflake MultiTeach. Next, I'll provide an overview of the Geography app. From the Science category menu, select the Geography icon. This will open up a selection screen where you'll have two choices, Countries of the World and Cities and Countries. Countries of the World opens with directions. The goal is to drag flag tiles to the correct tags on a map. If a tile is placed incorrectly, a flashing glow appears. Feedback is given at the end of each round. Next, we'll open up Cities and Countries, leading to a selection screen containing 35 countries. The goal is to drag the names of cities to the correct tags. After all items are placed, incorrect ones will give off a flashing red glow, allowing for self-correction. Positive feedback is provided after each round. Features in Snowflake MultiTeach such as Zones, Rotate, and Swap Zones make it easy to set up apps, lessons, and projects for use on large tabletop or vertical displays to extend the learning experiences of your students. In this example, the Zones feature is accessed through the Tools menu and used to divide the screen into sections. With the Organs and Bones apps running in the bottom sections and two previously downloaded lessons from the MultiTeach Lessons community at the top, each app in a Zone section 
has its own side menu accessed by a corner icon. In this example, I'll select the Swap Zones button for the top apps and then tap the bottom sections to quickly move them. Two or more students can be called to the display to interact with the bottom two zones, and then the top two zones can be swapped to the bottom to extend the teaching learning session, making good use of your science apps and lessons. You can use the Rotate button for the upper two zones to quickly orient them for use on a tabletop display and then rotate them back. You can use the Zones button within one zone to put the lesson or app in full screen mode. For reference, here is a chart showing the side menu items that can be accessed while in zones. Next, we'll look at how the Habitats app can be used with previously created lessons from the MultiTeach Lessons community using the Zones, Rotate, and Swap Zones feature, similar to what was shown with the Bones and Organ Science apps. In this example, the Habitats app is in the lower left side. On the top left is a match lesson, on the right is a sentences lesson, and below that, a groups lesson, all displaying interactive content related to the Habitats theme. Here, I'll use the corner icons to access the side menus to swap zones and rotate apps for various uses. Each app in Snowflake MultiTeach's science category can stand alone or work with other apps and lessons. This has been an overview of the science apps in Snowflake MultiTeach. For more information, visit the NUITech website.